We're officially getting a new Indiana Jones video game after a really, really long hiatus because today Bethesda announced that they are working on a completely new original Indiana Jones adventure with Machine Games, the developers behind the more recent Wolfenstein games. It's also being executive produced by Todd Howard and is a collaboration with the newly reformed and kind of rebranded Lucasfilm Games. Is this the first Xbox owned Bethesda exclusive Xbox game? Some say yes, some say no. As of the time of making this video, we don't know yet. Uh, we're not gonna focus on that. We're really just excited about the idea of a Lucasfilm-backed Indiana Jones game for the next generation of gaming, because it's really freaking exciting. This has the potential to become an absolutely massive franchise and really grow Indiana Jones in ways the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull didn't. So it's me, Jake Baldino, and today we're gonna talk about five things we want from the new Indiana Jones game. Starting off with number five, I think it's obvious we should talk about the elephant in the room. This game needs to stand out. Indiana Jones inspired so many massive video game franchises, like of course, Tomb Raider and Uncharted. So as soon as this thing was announced, of course, everyone immediately said, we already have Uncharted. We don't need Indiana Jones. No, listen. Sorry, I don't mean to get worked up, but Indiana Jones is like its own special unique thing in the way it's cinematic, in the way it's a bit more old school and based on like pulp stuff. And I think the game needs to understand how to embrace that. You know, video games have captured the Indiana Jones magic in the past, way back in the day, but video games back then were different. Now in 2021, 2022, 2023, whenever this game comes out, video games are much different and are more capable and they can do anything, but it also leaves room for a lot of disaster, as we've seen. So how can Indiana Jones stand out and how can it be special? How can it feel different from an Uncharted or a Tomb Raider other than just being Uncharted, but this time it's in the 30s and you play as a dude with a hat? To be honest, there's a couple of things and it's gonna be the things that we point out that we want in the rest of this video, except for one specific thing, maybe uh, embracing storytelling, linearity, where it doesn't need to be like the other new Tomb Raider games that gave itself hub areas to explore. I would like more of a linear, tight experience here, personally. Uh, but also how it embraces fighting enemies and killing, and essentially how much of that is in the game. Now, Machine Games definitely specializes in killing Nazis, as they've shown many times. But Indiana Jones isn't really like mowing down thousands of dudes with a machine gun. Now, you can get away with something like that with Lara Croft, because whatever, she's badass, and Nathan Drake, hey, it's what he does. Indiana Jones is a pre-established character, so if he did something too crazy or too violent, it would feel a little out of character for him. That's not to say that he's not afraid to kill someone or do something really violent, but it's just really a matter of tone and how much of it there is. There has to be impact to a fist fight in this game. Impact is the main thing we want to stress, but let's move on to number four. Another thing we really want is, of course, the memorable set pieces and the big moments, the big action moments. You know, Indiana Jones running from a boulder, maybe just a massive elaborate cave with a giant puzzle in it, running from a tribe of angry people, or accidentally setting off a booby trap and having to dodge your way through it. We've seen these things in the movies. It's kind of why we love the movies. So the video game has a big challenge in the fact that it has to create new and exciting scenarios similar to those that shake things up. Maybe this time instead of running from a boulder he runs from um I don't know, a giant snowball. I see I don't I don't make the video games. I don't have the ideas, but you know what I'm getting at here? The bigger thing that is even more important is making these memorable set piece moments exciting and playable. Yes, there are other games that have done this well, you know, running from something, climbing up something as it collapses. We've seen that before, but Indiana Jones has the potential to take it a step further with all the people working behind it. There can be a ton of cool, ambitious new ideas and not rely on QTE or quick time events to really show everything off. That would be really cool to see. Now down to number 3, another important thing we want to see in this game is the concept of saving artifacts, not really stealing treasure or robbing graves, but really protecting them. Keeping that ancient treasure or powerful object out of the wrong hands, you know? That could be a real core focus here, maybe not even from a story standpoint, but somehow from a gameplay standpoint. I mean, the fact that Indiana Jones is also a teacher, the game should embrace that in some way. How can they go further other than that he's just really smart and he scribbles things down in a journal? I don't know. Maybe if a lot of the puzzles are also him solving mysteries, solving clues, similar like Batman Arkham Detective Vision, but Indiana Jones Vision. Oh God, actually no, I take that back. That's a very tired video game trope, but maybe they can think of something else. You gotta feel smart, you gotta feel slick, but you also gotta feel like you're doing the right thing at the end of the day, you know? You gotta feel that perfect mix of being dastardly, but also very heroic in that really old school way. 
down to number two, another thing we really want, because uh, honestly, it's what we really love here about the Indiana Jones movies, it's memorable side characters. I think in Indiana Jones is nothing without the quirky side characters, whether they double cross him or they're with him the whole way, or they're a cool villain or a cool henchman, whatever. There's a lot they can do here, especially because Bethesda has described this game as a new adventure of Indiana Jones at the height of his career. Meaning we could see some familiar side characters return. Personally, I'd love to see short round, but they really could do anything. The possibilities are endless, which if we're talking about side characters, maybe we should talk about the main character for a second. You think Harrison Ford is gonna reprise his role? You think they're just gonna do a likeness thing? Harrison Ford walks a good line between professionally doing a good job of acting like he doesn't give a shit while also showing up for the paycheck. So I think he'll show up. I think he'll be in this, but we'll just have to wait and see. Probably quite a bit, but yeah. Now down to number one, something very important that we wanna see is satisfying gameplay and weapons, you know, all that stuff. First of all, Indiana Jones very often fights with his fists, so there's gonna have to be some good convincing hand-to-hand -hand combat here. And I don't even mean just like satisfying punches in the regular video game way, but more in that desperate, scrappy Indiana Jones style. Same goes for using a whip. That has to feel convincing and useful, maybe for objects in the environment as well as combat, which we have seen in some Indiana Jones games in the past, credit where credit's due. But then also, of course, guns and weapons. They gotta feel satisfying, they gotta feel effective, and they gotta feel badass when you're forced to use them because, like like I said earlier, Indiana Jones isn't always just mowing down thousands of dudes at a clip. So it's a tricky thing to balance if they make it not just a game where you're in constant shootouts, the occasional time you do use a gun, it still has to feel satisfying. It can't be half-assed just because it's not the main focus. I know we're asking for a lot here, but I think the most important thing I want to impress upon people with this is that scrappiness of Indiana Jones. You know, he's always kind of in the middle of a fight while there's some other chaos going on or stuff's happening around him. He's grabbing a plate, he's smashing it over a dude's head. Like, how do they do that? How do they nail that gameplay feel? Like, how do they design a game and gameplay mechanics around feeling like you can always just escape by the skin of your teeth. You can't be Indiana Jones and it feels like Batman Arkham combat, you know what I mean? It's gotta feel desperate, it's gotta feel a little goofy, you know what I mean? I think what I'm trying to get across here with this video and, and saying things we want from this Indiana Jones game, we really wanna point out that we're really just excited and these things we want just kind of highlight the potential this game could truly have. If it stands out from some of the games that have replicated its formula from the movies, if it can feel like a big new exciting thing, if it can take Indiana Indiana Jones to new heights. If it can bring back that old school Lucasfilm feel, I, I don't know. It's a lot. We're putting a lot of faith in it. We don't know anything, but it's fun to talk about. So that's why we're here. So we want to hear from you guys in the comments what you think about this new Indiana Jones announcement. Do you think it's going to be an exclusive to Xbox or do you think that with the money involved here, the brand involved, the Lucasfilm involvement and technically Disney involvement, they're going to want this thing on all platforms? Maybe not. They've put characters on one platform before. Who knows what's going to happen, but we want to hear what you guys think and what you want. Which movie do you want it to be like? Do you want it to be like Fate of Atlantis, one of the best games ever made? Let's talk anything Indiana Jones down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and had a good time with us, clicking the like button is the best way you can help us out. We'd really appreciate that. And if you're new, consider subscribing, maybe hitting that notification bell, because we put out videos every single day. But hey, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.